Hi, Prospector Jack here of Appalachian Prospectors. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about what I carry in my backpack, my larger backpack for when I'm out prospecting, when I want to hike out in the backcountry, something like that. But uh, I'll show you what I what I carry along with me, and what I use. Okay, this is my backpack. This is one of my backpacks. I use a smaller one when I'm just panning. Sometimes I just want to get in, get out, you know, like if I'm going by a river or a stream and I'm curious is, you know, is there any gold there, I will stop and pan it. But when I want to do some actual production, I want to carry a little more than that with me and I need a bigger backpack so I can carry my sluice in it. And I have a backpack sluice that I like to use for sampling, testing and, and uh, some prospecting where I can run a little more material, quite a lot more material with a sluice box. But uh, this is what I carry with me. Here's my backpack. I also carry a bucket with me so that I can classify material, you know, shovel into the bucket, classify material down so I can run it through the sluice. And uh, as you see here, I have on the outside, I got my classifier. Basic uh, half inch classifier, which I shovel into. It goes right on the bucket. And uh, I'll show you a clip of of how I use that. Along with my uh, gold pan. You definitely need a gold pan. Alright, what I did here is uh, I drilled a hole in that as well as my classifier and put a ring in there. And I have these D rings that I attach to my uh, backpack so that I can, you know, carry these right on the outside of the backpack without taking up a lot of room inside. Which I can also uh, hook my bucket to uh, one of those or just carry it. But uh, I'll go through some of the things that I carry. Uh, one thing here is uh, I carry a water bottle. I always carry a water bottle. You get thirsty out there, you need something to drink. So uh, I carried my water bottle on the outside as well. Got a nice little pocket here for that. Uh, here I have an access to the uh, bottom. Just unzip that and I carry stuff in there. For one thing I carry uh, rain suit. You never know when it's going to start raining on you. I have a uh, bulb that I use for crevicing. I'll suck water up, put it in the crevice, or put that down inside, suck it up. I can put a hose on the end of it if I want to make it longer. Carry that with me. Uh, of course, I carry a little trowel. And uh, spin it around.
always bring a pair of gloves. Rocks get to be very hard on your on your hands. I find these ones work great. These type here with the rubber uh, palms on them, knit gloves. Uh, they dry pretty quickly, and uh, but they last. They last me days out there, as opposed to like a pair of leather gloves. I'll wear them out in a day, but these gloves work great. I also carry like uh, some kind of shoe that I can wear in the water. If I'm not wearing boots, you know, rubber boots. I got these. I just slip these on. I also uh, knee pads. Save my knees for when I'm uh, kneeling down in the rocks and stuff. You know, if I'm close to the car, I will carry, uh, you know, a regular number two shovel with me uh, with a long handle. You know, if I don't have to walk too far, but if I'm going in the uh, back country, I'm definitely not going to, more than likely, I'm not going to carry a, a long handle shovel. But, uh, carry a crowbar so you can pry them rocks loose, pry them, you know. Carry a small pickaxe with me so I can uh, break up the material. It come in, comes in very handy, very handy. Scoop. Don't want to be without a scoop. I use this for, you know, shoveling out of the bucket into the sluice, or I might even use it to scoop uh, the hole that I'm working in. Very handy for a lot of things. Of course, crevicing tool. If I uncover some uh, bedrock, it's got, you know, cracks in it and stuff like that, I. Uh, I'll use this here to scrape down into it, scoop out with this end, uh, which I'll also use this to uh, squirt water, maybe flush the material out of the crack into the hole, into a pan, whatever. Uh, have a small shovel. Uh, I like these because you can really, you know, get down in around those holes, like uh, the uh, the larger shovels, you know, they're they're bigger, and, and it's they're sometimes these are more uh, you have more of an advantage with these. Then of course, here's my my backpack. This is truly a backpackable sluice. This is made by. Got it from Angus McKirk. I don't know if you can see that. It's called the Outback Sluice, and it is their largest backpackable sluices that they make. And I find this to be outstanding for for you know hiking in the back country, any place where it's hard to get to. Maybe you got to climb down a cliff or you know a steep embankment, climb down a mountain, climb up a mountain to get out. You know. Uh, whatever, but this is lightweight and uh, you can run a lot of material through it pretty quickly. Uh, the thing I like about it, it is very easy to set up and very easy to break down. As you can see, there are no uh, riffles that you have to take out of it, no carpet, no expanded metal. So, you know, once you set this in the water, set it, put a rock on top of it, hold it down, and you can shovel your material right on in there. And this does a great job. It gets fine gold, it gets coarse gold. Uh, you don't need as much water, uh, you know, so much flow as you do with, with other sluices, you know, bigger ones. Uh, and I think it just works great. Uh, clean up is easy, you just pull it back out of the water, you know, dump it into a bucket like this here, you know, you just pick it up. Put it right in your bucket. Put it right in your bucket. And, uh, use your 
use your pan to splash some water up on it and clean, done. And you're ready to pan it out. But, uh, you know, as far as the plastic sluice, these are outstanding. I remember the first time I seen an Angus McCurk sluice box. I was pretty leery about it. You know, will it work? I don't know. Uh, and I thought, well, how good can that work? But I, I had seen several people using them, and I see that they really did a great job. So I decided uh, to get one, and it would be, you know, this would be the ideal tool for backpacking into those uh, remote locations and still be able to run a lot of material. So uh, for the Angus McCurk Outback Sluice, I give it a thumbs up. And I would recommend anybody, you know, to, uh, to purchase one. Um, I like it very much and I'm pleased with it. You'll see how I use this in the video clip that I have coming up. So check it out. Now we'll get out the sluice box and set it up. And we'll start digging. Water shoes yet. My feet are already wet though. because it's easy to set up. You don't need a lot of water. It can run good. Give her a test, throw some gravel to it if I find a handful of it here. See how this works here. It's fairly decent. Alright, we'll give that a whirl and see what we got. Okay, so let's see how it's uh, running. Oh, it's working pretty good. Might even be a little too fast.
we go to that side, you know. Can get my foot out of there. Get the rock up here. Out of the way somewhere. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. here on the back. say thanks for watching and uh, please stay tuned for more videos from Appalachian prospectors as you join us on our adventures and uh, please like and subscribe thank you very much I will talk to you later